afraid of the dark? Are you scared? <laughs> We live, we live. Mm. What's going on, beautiful people? I am the Grandmaster, and I also go by D-Ray, and I am your coach of the San Diego Snugglers. And today is yet another epic matchup between us <laughs> and the Lake District Spirits, coached by Dr. Slacking. This is going to be a, a really good matchup. I'm, I'm excited for it. I've never played Slacking before. Um, he's an amazing individual. He's a beautiful human being. Uh, one of the nicest people I think I've ever met in the community. He's just always been positive. And um, this is something I've been looking forward to. And I'm glad that it's happening early in the season. So if you're excited too, do me a massive favor and shadow claw that thumbs up button. And if you're new, por favor, hit the subscribe button. Turn on post notifications. Hit the bell button so you guys get notified every single time we post a new video. On screen, you guys can see... The matchup that we're looking forward to, it's another really bad one. <laughs> He's just got so much to completely smother my team. He's got a rain, a very heavily committed rain team. Uh, so it's going to be, you know, one for the ages. It's going to be one of those kinds of matchups. So we'll see if we can... We can hold our own, but he's got a Ferrothorn, Barrascuta, Kingdra, Pelipper, Seismitoad, Heliolisk, Zoroark, Dreadnought, Clefairy, Diglett! Diglett! And G-Max Venusaur. So... Off the get-go, the biggest threats that I see to the squad, um, Barrascuta, Kingdra, ooh, those two just go crazy. Dreadnought goes crazy. Uh, Venusaur goes crazy. Seismitoad goes crazy. Heliolisk goes crazy. You can see my point here. Uh, he can literally bring anything. The only Pokemon that I don't see coming at all is Diglett. I'm sure that his Diglett is to get rid of uh, Electro-type Pokemon, and I don't bring Luxray. So I don't see any reason why he's going to want to bring Diglett, although everything else has merit to come. So honestly, everything's up in the air. But the six Pokemon that I think he's going to bring, Ferrothorn, Barrascuta, Kingdra, Pelipper, Seismitoad, and Venusaur. Those are the Pokemon that I think he brings. Um, so the Mons that we're going to decide to bring is up on your screen now. So we're going to bring Rain. Rain is coming with the Regenerator ability, Psyshock, Focus Blast, Trick Room, and Teleport. Um, this is with the Colber Berry to ensure that we can live a crunch from Barrascuta because, ugh, that thing hits like a truck. I do anticipate it to be Life Orb, not Choice Banded, so that's something to think about. Uh, he's got, we're bringing Snorlax, our G-Max Snorlax, um, not Mel Metal, so Snorlax is going to be the MVP of this game. Facade, Hammer Arm, Seed Bomb, and Zen Headbutt with the Thick Fat ability um, to be able to, you know, help us combat some Ice type moves, maybe from the Kingdra. Um, I don't see any reason to bring immunity here, and obviously gluttony is not usable because we have to hold the Master Ball um, due to the rules of the league with their G-Max Pokemon. Um, his coverage hits almost everything on his team, so it's going to be pretty pretty good. We invested mostly in our defenses because <laughs> Snorlax is fat. Don't need to invest in that HP. Really, really good Pokemon. Uh, the next mod that we have is going to be Mianxiao, Mianxiao aka Uncle, which I just realized that I did not put the gender so it's probably gonna end up being female <laughs> um Mian Shao is this is a reference to Jackie Chan Adventures for those who watch that that show uh we have the regenerator ability so we have our regenerator core this week finally coming back intact which is the main idea behind this team the regenerator core is going to be really clutch for us we have life orb with fake out to be able to stall out the rain as much as we can and to get some really good damage on the Barrascuta and some other really frail things if he decides to do that we have Close Combat for Stab, very, very good Stab. We have Stone Edge for the Pelipper, and we have Knock Off for um, the Switches to get Knock Off, to knock off some items. We're Jolly Max Speed because we want to be able to speed tie with the uh, Zorark if he does bring that. Um, sorry, you guys can hear the dogs in the background. But the next mod that we have is going to be Roselia. Roselia is coming back, Mota. Uh, Mota's coming with Giga Drain, Extra Sentry, Spikes, and Leech Seed. Spikes is going to be super clutch for his team because he's going to be doing a lot of pivoting and a lot of switching around, so we do want to punish that by stacking him up with Spikes. Extra Sentry is good for the Venusaur. Giga Drain is good for Stab and to be able to get some um, health back and to check the Seismitoad and to check the Dreadnought. And then Leech Seed is to catch him on the switches. 
And then Delmise is coming this week. Delmise is um, making his debut, actually, with Poltergeist, Shadow Claw, Power Whip, and Swords Dance. We're going to be doing Dual Stab. Um, Poltergeist is there in case he does want to get cheeky with some stuff. Uh, if I can confirm some items, I'll definitely go for Poltergeist. But if he, th he thinks that I'm going to bring Delmise, he may want to get kind of cheeky and not bring an item on something. So we do want to have Shadow Claw just in case. Um, Power Whip is there for literally his entire fleet of water type Pokemon. The dual stabs on Delmise do absolute work. And then Swords Dance to be able to find an opportunity to set up if I can. And then we have Weezing bringing the same, similar to the same set as last week because we um, are able to get rid of abilities, um, namely Swift Swim. So we have Choice Scarf, Neutralizing Gas, Stream Stream, Thunder, ha! Shout out to OG Albina for this set, uh, Flamethrower and Sledge Wave. You might be thinking, Flamethrower on the Rain team, we still want to be able to check that Ferrothorn if the Rain is not up and the Pelipper is gone, if that scenario ever arises. But a strange theme is literally there to bop the Kindra. Hopefully we're able to catch the Kindra, get rid of his Swift Swim, then bop it with the strange theme. I actually do, don't have speed Barrascuta outside the rain still. It's so fast. Base 136 speed is just incredible. Very hard hitting fast type po fast Pokemon. Uh, and Sludge Wave is there for stab. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be the team. I'm going to get connected with uh, Slacking here. And I um, appreciate you, Matt, for being super understanding. I was on the way here from the gym. And I hit like crazy amounts of traffic. So I'm running late. So I'll see you guys over in the matchup. <laughs> Okie dokie, beautiful people. It looks like that we are connected to my boy, Dr. Slacking. The Slacking Doctor. <laughs> I love his intro. I love his whole... Bro, when you watch this, I love your whole like, you know... Should I call it spiel? No, not just like your whole like your 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 gimmick. I don't know. I like I like your intro, all that fun stuff. The hello, my truant people. Thank you for loafing around with me. That's just fucking brilliant. <laughs> I love that, dude. Anyway, here's our team. Um, everything is all set to go, and um, let's go ahead and uh, register and play my boy. And let's get this popping. Let's get this popping. We had a little bit of a uh, difficulty connecting. I don't know what happened, but nonetheless. Didn't take too long. We're here, ready to go. We're in a battle land mode. I am 151 because we're going to be playing dark, gloomy San Diego, California today. Again. We're just playing in the ghost gym, baby. It's home turf every time, baby. If you ain't trying to send to me, we're playing in my home turf. The ghost gym. Best gym. All right, we're all connected. Everything's all set to go. We said our good lucks have fun. He said, he said good luck have fun. We appreciate it when you say good luck have fun. That's awesome. We appreciate, we appreciate that. All right, let's see what he decided to bring. Again, the sick Pokemon that I do think that he brings is going to be, uh, I think he brings Pelipper, Barrascuta, Seismitoad, Kingdra, Ferrothorn, and then Venusaur probably in the last slot, but we will see. Let's get connected. Let's get this popping. What'd, what'd you bring, my boy? What'd you bring, my boy? My boy? Did we get this all right? Oh, he brings the Heliolisk, okay. What did you not bring? Kingdra, Barrascuta, Heliolisk. He doesn't bring Fe. He does have Ferrothorn. What didn't you bring? Bear oh, he doesn't have Seismitoad. Dude, it would have been so nice to have Melmetal. Just kidding. Melmetal does not do very good this matchup. So, Venusaur goes there. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay. Venusaur. Barrascuta, Kindra, excellent, okay, cool, excellent, everything is good, let's make sure that this layout is all set, awesome, now what is it that we're going to decide to lead off with is going to be the question, I'm actually going to pull up my notes here, make sure that everything is good on this end, perf, 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 what do we want to lead off with, we got 30 seconds here, hmm, what is our goal? What do we want to lead with? Um, I think a good lead on our end would be probably, uh, what is it? He leads, he leads with the the Pelipper. So would he lead with Uncle? Or do we just go for Rain? I think I'm gonna bring in Rain and go from there. And then we'll see what he wants to do because I want to lead with Roselia, but if he goes for a Hurricane with this Pelipper, that could be a problem. So we don't want to do that. So. Let's get it. GDL week number three. San Diego Snugglers, the Lake District Spirits. Ding, ding, ding. Let's get it. Alrighty. So this is good to go. And layout is on in. Hopping. 
Here we go. All right, my boy, what you got for me, fam? Pelipper. Okay, cool. So we're going to bring in our Slow King here. In comes Rain making his debut looking beautiful. We love this whole line, baby. We love this whole line. Um, I kind of, how much does, I can find, I can find out if he's offensive with the damage that he does to me with this U-turn. Now, I kind of want to teleport out and see what he wants to go for. I could set up a trick room, like right out the get-go. Like right out the get-go, because what could he bring in here? Literally any one of his sweepers, and that could be a problem. So I'm actually going to go for a trick room here. So let's go for a trick room. Goes for a U-turn. Let's see how much damage this does. From 197 down to 169. Down to 169. Slow King. Pelipper. Let's just say you're defensive. Level 50. Rosebush. Okay. Okay. So I think he's a little bit more defend on the defensive side, honestly. So here's the thing now. With a Ferrothorn, are you min speed? If you're min speed and you're physically defensive for our Melmetal. If you're min speed, then you outspeed us. If you're not min speed, huh? Okay, I found this on the web for if you're not min speed, check it out. Okay, Siri. <laughs> uh, how much do we take from a power whip? How much time do I have? Twenty-five seconds. Come on, computer. What is happening here? Why are you? The calc is acting weird. That's weird. Power whip. Come on now. Need you, to, need, you to, need you to work with me. Come on. Come on. We, we have 14 seconds left. How much do we take, take a lot of damage? I'm going to see if he has power up. But I'm going to go for a focus blast. I'm going to go for a focus blast. He has spikes. Okay. That's good for us. We really need to land this. Let's go slow king. Let's get it. Let's go. We land the first one, baby. If he's physically defensive, this should be a 2 at KO. Let's go, baby. That's a 2 at KO. I do not anticipate him wanting to stay in here because he will lose his guy. Um, I kind of want to teleport out here. I kind of want to teleport out. If we go for a Focus Blast here and he brings in his... I could make a play go for a Psy Shock, anticipating him to bring in his, uh, his Venusaur here. Do we want to make that ballsy play? Do we want to make that ballsy play? I think I'm going to teleport out. I think he wants to switch out here. So he withdraws. So we go for a teleport. Good play. Does he bring in the Venusaur? Nigel. No, this is the Pelipper. Okay. Awesome. So what is the play from here? Do we bop you with our Delmise? And do you have Hurricane? Because the Trick Room is still up. Mind you, Trick Room is still up. We do have to play a little bit faster. Delmise does 45 to 55%. Hurricane does a big bunk and chunk. I think we bring an Ombre. We bring an Ombre. And we threaten Thunder Punch. I don't think we G-Max just yet. He did get up Spikes, which is really, really unfortunate. For he's going to start to whittle down our team a little bit here. Um, what do you switch into the Thunderbolt? Probably Ferrothorn. So I can go for a hammer arm here. And he's probably going to think I have Thunder Punch. And if he thinks I have Thunder Punch, I can go for a hammer arm and I can get rid of the Ferrothorn. So I'm going to go for a hammer arm. Anticipating the Ferrothorn to come back out. I think he's going to U-turn here. Or he might just want to get off a Scald. And if he does burn us, then we can get a Facade Boost. So let's see what transpires here. Okay. It withdraws. Does he give us Ferrothorn? Big brain plays. Big brain plays. Snorlax. Kills. He doesn't die! No! <laughs> that sucks. That sucks. That sucks. Alright. We are min speed on our Snorlax. We do still have... Oh, the Iron Barbs. Are you Iron Barbs Rocket Helmet? No, you're Leftovers. I saw that before. Okay. Okay. 
Um, I don't necessarily want to continue to get some chip damage off on this, on this, on our guy, but at the same time, it would be nice to get rid of Ferrothorn. So I'm actually gonna go for another Hammer Arm. I is our Trick Room still up? Trick Room has one more turn left. We are min speed on our guy. I'm gonna go for another Hammer Arm. It's gonna be unfortunate. This chip damage really, really sucks. But at the same time, getting rid of this Ferrothorn is gonna be really nice. Our last kills, Ferrothorn. All right. Cool. Ferrothorn is really nice to get out of the way for Delmise. Really, really nice to get out of the way. Now we're super duper slow. Um, what do you bring in here for this? So Ferrothorn's down. We draw first blood. First blood snugglers. Here's the thing though, we're pretty chipped down. Snorlax took a lot of damage. Double iron barbs really sucked there. Do I live a close combat when I'm G maxed here? I have I'm at 148. 148. Oh, I totally just messed that up. Alright. Let's see here. If he's got a bear scuda, we're gonna have to play a little bit faster moving forward here with our Snorlax. I do still want Snorlax for uh do I want I think I should switch out here. Honestly. I think I do switch out here and I bring in rain. I'm gonna bring in rain. Barrascuta, your close combat is gonna tickle. This is gonna tickle. Do you crunch? Don't crunch here. There's the spikes. There's the flip turn. Okay. Woo! That's a lot of damage! What the fudge? <laughs> Rain boosted flip turn, dude. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Uh, what do you bring in on this? Uh, Venusaur? Do you bring in Venusaur? Do I outspeed a Venusaur? All right, we're playing fast from here on out. Yeah. Freaking Heliolus, dude. There's just so much that can just do so much damage to me, and I just have to keep doing the switching stuff, and he could just Volt Switch. It's just so unfortunate. Um, do we bring in Roselia here? I think we do. Rose comes out. I can eat whatever he wants to go for. I think his best place to go for a Hyper Voice, or he could just switch out. He could just straight up switch out. Um, I think our play is to just start to set up spikes and uh, and start to punish his switches as well. So we're gonna take the bull switch here. Thunder. That's gonna tickle. No, it doesn't. Woo! Roselia is thick. Roselia is thick. Roselia, Roselia, Roselia is thick. I can't go for a leech seed because he does still have the Venusaur around. So what I do is I set up spikes. Yeah, we set up our own layer of spikes. He is only way to get rid of them is with his um, Pelipper. I have to force, I have to punish him switching around because he's been doing a lot of that with his uh, Bear Scuda and with his Heliolisk and um, defogging is going to be the best way for me to get rid of them and I don't have defog. He has to have defog on his Pelipper and if not we're both just going to get chipped down here. Bolt switch, okay that's fine. We're going to eat that a little bit, we're at about half, we're at about half. It's looking pretty good here guys. This And it comes the Venusaur. I kind of want to like super stack him here. Although this is a pretty solid switch into the Heliolisk. So what do we bring in on this Venusaur? Not much to be honest. I kind of just want to go ahead and set up another layer of spikes. Yeah, I'm gonna set up another layer of spikes. Uh, it's gonna. It would have been nice to continue to have this thing around for the Heliolisk, but at the same time, I mean. It is what it is. He is gonna waste one of his G-Mass turns on on uh, Roselia here, which is actually really, really nice. Best case scenario, if he goes for that Vine, the Vine Lash move, but I do get residual damage from that, which really sucks. Really, really sucks. Ooze! This kill. Roselia, you are a beast. You're about to waste these G-Mass turns, baby girl. Let's go. Special attack boost. Get for another layer of spikes. Alright, I really hope he does not have defog on his his guy over there. 
ooze is coming out. So I think what we do is we just go for a, a extra sensory and we just kamikaze our guy here. I think we just kamikaze our guy here, which is very unfortunate. He's going to be plus two. I'm going to assume that he's timid or modest. Let's assume that he's modest and he's plus two. Plus two special attack onto Snorlax. And we are G-maxed up. It is our best play. I cannot handle this thing any other way. So we bring in Ombre. And we are Dynamaxed up. And he is Dynamaxed up. Uh, let's see. You are not level 100. You should be at level 50. We're going to be down to one, about half. So we're at 119. All right. We can eat max overgrowth, I think. I think, I think, I think. So what we do is we go for here and we go for the max Mindstorm. It's our best play. We're going to get a big chunk off on this thing. Would have been nice to um, stall out another turn here of the G-Max to be able to hit regular Venusaur, but we'll see what happens here. We'll see what happens. The fact that this thing is boosted up is real unfortunate. Max overgrowth should be it's the, the max move, the max vine move. Those 41 to 49 percent. I should be able to live one of those. It's the strongest move to go for if he's maddest mox. Maddest? My, my maddest. Modest. Yeah, we eat those. And we can take about two things of damage. So I'm really hoping that this does a lot of damage. We should be able to do about 49 to 58 percent to a non HP invested Venusaur. So he looks like he's got a little bit of bulk on him. A little bit of bulk. Either that or we just got a really low roll. Okay. Uh, we're n n we're at one. We're at 64. He's not G maxed up anymore. He can't switch in anything on this. So max Mindstorm, I think, is the play, right? Or do we go for G max replenish? G max replenish to 68 to 81 percent. There's nothing that can really switch in on this. Nothing really wants to take any of this. So I kind of want to go for a max replenish here. It's a guaranteed kill with the max Mindstorm here, and it's boot. You go for Mindstorm. You go for Mindstorm. Sludge Bomb has a chance. Giga Drain. That's not. Oh, that's a good. One. He got it. He got it. He got the roll. That's a bummer. Giga Drain does 24 to 28 percent. He looks like he got the roll on that one. It's the spikes damage that did us in, which is really unfort. It's really really unfort. Okay. So what is our play here? I think. So he does have Sludge Bomb. He does have Sludge Bomb. How much does Weezing do here? Weezing Galar. Uh, this is not G-Max. So it does 49 to 58%. I think it's our best chance here. I think that this is our best chance here. Yeah, we bring in Goons. We bring in Goons. 49 to 58%. This Venusaur is boosted up. Is that the play here? I have to go for a flamethrower. And then I can revenge with Mian Shao coming in. He's gonna know that I'm choice scarfed after this. Flamethrower comes out. It's about the damage we expected. Sleep powder. That sucks, bro. Come on now. Dang it. If we had dodged there, we had had this game, bro. We need to get a first turn wake. I need to get a first turn wake. Come on, Venusaur. Come on, we Weezing. Weezing, get up, baby boy. Get up, baby boy. Come on, goons. Let's go, boy. Earth power. Good stuff. Good stuff, Matt. Good stuff, Matt. Damn. Alright, our play now is to bring in Uncle. Our play now is to bring in Uncle. Okay. Let's see. Stone Edge kills, Fake Out, Fake Out plus knockoff kills. So I'm gonna go for a Fake Out here. Oh my god, the Psychic Terrain! Oh my god, I forgot about the Psychic Terrain! I threw the game! 
Oh my lord! That, I forgot about the psychic terrain. Wow! I deserve to lose this game. I'm so, I'm so, I thought that this is the turn that it ran out. I didn't check. Dang! Woo! <laughs> I'm sorry guys, that was, that was my own fault. I have no, I have no excuse, that was my own fault. This Venusaur is gonna clean, I... <sighs> that was the stupidest move I've ever done. How did I not check to see if it was off, dude? Wow! I have to go for a Poltergeist, because I know he's holding a Pokeball. God dang it, dude! Now he goes for a Sludge Bomb and kills me! He's boosted up too much! Oh, the poison, dude. Alright. Well, GG's to Matt. Um, it was a great game. It is what it is. I can't I can't beat him here. No. It's just, just too much. Knockoff killed there, dude. I hit Fake Out, and I forgot that the Psychic Terrain was up. That was just dumb on my part. I own up to that. I was, that was just a stupid move. I deserve to lose this game. I... We'll bounce back next week, guys. We'll bounce back next week. I threw this game. I could have. I actually think I could have won with Trick Room, honestly. I honestly think I had. An, I had a. <sighs> There's no reason to save this. Flip turns out, kills me. Goes for Crunch. Yep. GG's to my boy. Absolutely ridiculous. How do you forget that this... D-Ray. I threw this game. That's okay. This is a good lesson to check to see when your own freaking terrain is still on the ground. <laughs> oh, that's so hilarious. I'm going go for a slice shock. He's gonna, I have a Cobra Berry so I can eat this crunch and I can at least kill the Berry Skeeter, which is actually kind of nice. Lower down the differential just a little bit. But then the Heliolus comes in and kills. That's okay. Still doesn't even kill. Never mind! <laughs> oh boy. GG's to Matt. Um, I threw this game for the freaking Psychic Terrain. Uh, please go check out his site. I'll leave a link down in the description below for his uh, YouTube channel. Please go over there, watch this side of the battle, subscribe to him if you're not already. And um, leave a rip in the chat for forgetting about your own Psychic Terrain that you set up with your own Pokemon. <laughs> Lesson learned, guys. Uh, with that being said, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I'm going to get the heck up out of here. Have Reverse. I hope you have a good rest of your day. I'm going to get the heck up out of here. I can't even remember my own outro. That's how tilted I am. With that being said, I'm gonna get the heck up out of here. Have a great rest of your day and above all else, be nice. Peace.